get your nearest blunt object or poking apparatus or gun because some wild stuff just went down. Over the past few days, Apple Music has been listing off their top 100 albums of all time. This is not that list. This is Rolling Stone's list from last year. Many have been wondering what exactly they would put as their number one album. And let's just say that their pick for the greatest album of all time was pretty insane. Looking at their pick now, I can see why there would be a mixed reaction, because this is actually Rolling Stone's list of the best vocalists of all time, and Aretha Franklin is a person and not an album. I've seen some people say that Apple's selections for this list were picked specifically to rouse up heated discourse. I'm sure the people at Apple Music are smart, but I think that's giving them too much credit. The reality is, any ranked qualitative list of music is going to unleash the inner hyena inside any music fan. You could take a collection of any 100 albums, randomize them, get ChatGPT to write up blurbs, post it somewhere, and bam. Discourse generated, entry fee to hell is waived. Go with too many acclaimed albums, your list is called safe and generic. Get freaky with a few picks, your taste is ripped to shreds. Put Taylor Swift too high, people get mad. Put Taylor Swift too low, people get mad. Give the people the power to vote, and you don't get a woman until the 17th slot. Put To Pimp a Butterfly too low, Hip Hop Twitter calls your list mid-ah. Thankfully, Apple did select To Pimp a Butterfly as their number one album, except this is Rate Your Music's list of best albums. The intense reaction to these kinds of lists has gotten really tiring for me to see, but I think that's just because I've seen it go down time and time again. There's only so many times you can get upset over your favorite album being placed too low, or someone you dislike getting placed too high before you start getting numb to it all. Apple Music's list did reawaken that part of me though, because their number one pick was the Koei Air Mega AP1512HH Mighty. So why do we do it then? Hundreds of years ago, we used to fight and kill each other in vicious combat. Now, we have Twitter. For some, it's just an enjoyable activity to go online and be hyperbolic. They'll post stuff like, I will murder your entire family if you think Vespertine is better than Sorry for Party Rocking. That's what invigorates the same feelings their caveman ancestors would have felt hundreds of years ago when a tiger chased them. I think the problem with this kind of discourse is that there really isn't a problem. Intense discourse about album rankings has existed for as long as music has been a product, and the cycle will likely never end. In fact, it will be fueled even more thanks to the hostile nature of social media platforms. Apple Music was the winner this time, and maybe this will spur people to sign up for their streaming service or buy the $3,000 headset, but in a few months' time, some other media outlet will be the winner, and we will be right back where we are now. So finally, here is Apple Music's number one album of all time. Five, four, three, two, one. What the hell? That's way too low.